Uh, hi students, so uh, I confused myself enough in class today talking about this, um, the dynamic inefficiency in the overlapping generations model, but I thought I'd just make a quick video to uh, say two more words about it. So this is, oops, dynamic inefficiency. So um, remember we had argued that the consumption in a period in the OLG model looks like this. Uh, if we assume that the growth rate of technology is zero. Oh. So uh, So remember, this is in steady state, all right? And then uh, the capital in steady state, of course, we can write this. So this is consumption, total consumption, or TC, consumption of both old and young. All right, and remember that when we're in steady state, capital is growing at um, this rate, one plus N. Okay, in the steady state. Okay, so that's how we get up here. So again, explaining this equation, what this says is uh, there's total production at time t, and uh, how much of that is consumed? Well, everything is consumed by somebody, young or old, except for one plus n times kt, which is the amount of savings, right? So that's amount of capital in the next period. Um, and then in addition, the old who are alive at time t, they consume their principal. Okay, so this is the total consumption, total production, minus savings plus the principal that was brought into this period. All right, now we can write that in our nice intensive form, just to get what was on the slide. So we can write F of little k, this is t, minus n little kt. Okay, so the argument here, uh, if you recall, is that um, this will be maximized, so we can maximize this, Okay, so the steady state that has the maximum amount of consumption is the one where uh, this amount of capital is saved, okay, where the slope of the production function is equal to n. All right, so that's what maximizes consumption in steady state, total consumption of both old and young. All right, so what we're gonna do, if suppose, so now suppose here, that k star, so let's call this the decentralized level, of capital in steady state. Okay, let's suppose that that is greater than the amount of capital in the golden rule steady state. Suppose that's true. All right, so how is this intervention gonna work? So now we're the government, we're gonna intervene, but we're gonna intervene in two ways, okay? So one way we're gonna intervene is we're going to force people to save more uh, excuse me, force people to save less. But the other way we're gonna intervene is we're actually gonna split the product up ourselves, okay? So we're not gonna use the market to distribute wages and returns. Rather, we're going to split the, um, the consumption up ourselves, okay? So we're gonna decide how much is consumed by the old in any given period and how much is consumed by the young, okay? So our idea here is that in the first period, we're going to have the young consume more than they otherwise would have, okay? Because we're gonna force them to save less than they otherwise would have, okay? So in period one, the young are gonna, are gonna have more. And then in period two, in period three, in period four, in period five, and, and so on and so forth, total consumption is higher than it would have been during the, in the steady state that the market decided on, okay? Total consumption is gonna be higher. So if we're the planner, then we can actually 
give both the old generation and the young generation more than they would have had in the market equilibrium. Does that make sense? So it doesn't actually, as I said in class, that wasn't quite right. It doesn't really depend upon this interest rate getting higher or anything like that. The whole point is that in the new steady state, I'll just write this. So in the new steady state, more total consumption If there's more total consumption in the new steady state, if there's more total consumption, we can make both old and young better off relative to market. Okay, so that's the way it works. In the, in the very first period, so at, or at the time t, we're going to force the young to save less than they otherwise would have, so they're going to consume more. And then in the next period and every period after that, we have more total consumption. And we can split that up in such a way, we're the planners, so that everyone is made better off. Okay, that's the idea. So. I'm going to leave it there and uh, see you next video.